Good morning, evening, and everything in between. As you can see, what we're going to be talking about today is this idea of starting to look into some of the different uh, applications of uh, Python and some of the libraries that we can use inside of Python. And so, yeah, you know, the message we're seeing here is numeric and scientific computing, but this is one of the very strongest points to Python and why a lot of, uh, say for example, data scientists and people use uh, Python. So the idea is what we're going to be talking about to at least start is this idea of NumPy. So NumPy, numerical Python, uh, it allows us to do a wide variety of different types of uh, applications or uh, calculations, there's the word, uh, tons of different calculations, especially when we're thinking about things from an array perspective. So an array is sort of like a list, and we'll kind of see that. Uh, so as you can see, very simple ways of importing it. Uh, like before, we can import it. It's called NumPy. Uh, the traditional, just as the uh, go-to, most people you'll see will do some form of like a as in P for this. And Again, if you've followed along with some of the other lectures, you know, this is just our way of renaming what the library uh, is going to be called. Instead of it being NumPy, we can kind of chop off a, a few little words here, or letters here and there, uh, to make it say, now I'm only going to be working with uh, NumPy. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different applications that we can work off of. So again, I'll come in uh, NumPy as in P. Now, when we think about uh, what we're looking at, if I only focused on a list, just to show what a list operation looks like, it's nothing terribly crazy, boom. You know, we've got the square brackets. Uh, there's some things that we can do with a list. I can append to a list, I can uh, tweak a list. However, when we think about uh, NumPy and how it handles lists or collections, it handles them through something known as an array. So the entire idea is what we would do with our traditional list is instead np.array. This is our way of saying, hey, I'm using NumPy's array function, uh, or I'm using, uh, I'm accessing the array function from my NumPy. And then as you can see, it's sort of asking for, it's asking for an object here, but realistically it's saying, I need something to store in here. So in our case, we can come in and we can store uh, pretty much a list. If I came in now and just did a print on this, uh, it will look very similar to how we've seen uh, our our lists in the past. One difference, you know, yeah, they're not putting any commas in there. That's not really changing it uh, overall that much. And you're still able to access uh, the elements the same way. So I can go in and say, oh, I want uh, the uh, element at the second index. That's fine. Where we start to get into some of uh, NumPy's uh, strengths is when we start to work on what are known as element-wise and array-wise operations. So the same kind of thing. Let me say instead of doing uh, just a print of X, uh, for whatever reason, maybe I want to double each one of the elements. Now there are a number of ways we could do this. Uh, say for example, if again I had, uh, let's see there, if I had just done this as a uh, a list, right, and I wanted to double all of those elements, I'd have to go in and say for i in range len x, x at i uh, equals x at i times two. I could do this, print x, and that'll do it no problem. And now again, it's making it a list, not an array, whatever. When we think about NumPy, however, when we think about this idea of an element-wise operation, what we're talking about is for my array, for all the contents in my array, I'm gonna go ahead and do this operation for each one of those operation of all, each one of those elements. So uh, if I, for example, came in here, now all I'm doing is saying x times two. What you see in my print statement now is it's 
going ahead and doing that uh, across each element. And the same thing can come in if, say for example, I wanted to have uh, two arrays that I was working, oh, I had two arrays I was working off of, an X and a Y. Let's say that's a 10, oh, let's see, there we are. Uh, a 10, a 20, a 30, and a 40. I can also do the same thing, whereas instead of saying, oh, multiply each element by two, now for each element, for each element in this list, add it, or in this array, add the corresponding element uh, in the same spot. So in our case, this one and this 10 will get added together. This two and this 20 will get added together. The three and the 30, you know what's going on here. And just to see that, there you go. So let's just see what happens if one of these happens to have uh, an unstructured, or I guess uh, more than one element than the other. So my X array has five elements in it and my Y array has four elements in it. I save, I run, and now it's gonna freak out. This is uh, one of the things about, uh, you know, when we're trying to do these element-wise operations, you know, it's complaining, hey, you can't quite do that because what it's calling the shape of my array is not the same as the shape of the other array. In this case, uh, the message is saying, you know, it's freaking out, it's saying we can't do that, versus uh, an, L, a, 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 an array that has a, a one dimension with five elements versus a, uh, an array with one dimension and four elements. I can't quite do that. Now, specifically, you might notice, you know, with this, it's presenting this as a tuple, if you think about it, a five comma with some parentheses. It's kind of tuple-esque. And the reason why is because if we think about arrays, well, arrays can be expanded. They don't have to just be one dimensional. So say, for example, I came in one, two, three. Now my X array is not just five elements, but it's 15 elements and not just a list of 15 elements, but uh, one, it, it is effectively a matrix. We've gotten it to build a matrix. It just doesn't use matrix term uh, for this. And just the same kind of way, if I came in with my Y, did the same thing. All right, well, let me actually get rid of those fives just to show it off again. Same kind of thing. Element-wise operations mean that every element at the corresponding location, again, same row, same column, is gonna be, in our case, added to the same uh, corresponding element in our other uh, array. So again, this one will be added to this 10, this three will be added to this 30. We hit play, we get exactly that. Same kind of thing also, again, if I added those fives back, just to explore this, we should get the same error that we saw before, this uh, five and four. However, instead of it being five comma nothing, what we should see is it explaining, oh hey, now you're, you know, your uh, three by five uh, array is not matching your three by four. 